Fuck out this natural man in New England here. A cold fed would have put range into that, triggering some scattered chads and test swabs out of A few strong test swabs are possible west of the central hills. Chads will be likely later in Thursday. South face of the front of the Boston and Providence quarter, and high pressure builds with dry weather for Friday and Saturday, and a bunch of warm fronts Saturday will be more humid and settled weather for the early part of next week. New term until 6 a.m. Thursday morning, and a few strong dissipated possible storms late this afternoon to evening hours. Continue to monitor for the potential of a strong spirit thunder storm late this afternoon to the early evening hours. Securely cold front has pushed front Ivica, New York, and up to the month pillar of Vermont, and will continue heading for progression towards southern New England for the remainder of the day over the next few hours. Believe a few isolated shots of thunderstorms will pop up just like they are in the Mohawk Valley region and not. Expect a more broken line summit to move far to the body each day hours and the front moves closer to the region. Look at SBC B Store Analyst and SBK Bells of Reach to 25 or JKG would not mention the terms of effective shear for Southern New England. Wrap 3 or 6 kilometers bulk shear values have increased slightly now 20 to 15 or 20 knots. I have a 20 Z, the strong wind shear at upper levels to check the backs are still situated across upstate New York, which will be also where the dip layer moisture is located per the K index and Y. The storms have sustained themselves. Overview in the night, a cold front will pass across the north face early this evening and in the early overnight hours. And however, we are currently lacking moisture and shear as mentioned above. Rap Canada shows that more for the primaries will cause increase closer to 00z and therefore believe that showers and stronger thunderstorms will develop and overspread the region as front pushes closer to southern New England. For the evening hours, the main concern in the mountain of instability will lack a solar heating body late evening hours. The current thinking is that thought that the sense of atmosphere has not been working over there now. Guided and chose lingering elevated in the to overnight belief that the thunderstorm potential will linger until midnight. By then, the storms will enter the eastern portion of the area, which is being influenced by the affecting maritime area from the today's gusty southwest winds. So, can I rule out the potential for severe weather, but have increased in confidence that at least strong storms will be developed late this afternoon or evening hours. After this discussion with it, SBC decided they should watch for the locations that are the best potential to see the moisture, instability, and true overlap in one another. The main threats are damaging winds and localized flooding as parts continue to increase at about 1.8 inches. Here. Alright, let's take a look at the latest on the tropical situation here at 508. Here. And now, TD2 is now dissipated at 11 a.m. now, remnants of 2. But a double barrel action in the eastern Pacific here. A brown door about 1400 miles southwest of the southern tip of the Baja California so is producing a large area of shots of sandstorms. Environment conditions appear conducive for additional development of this system is expected to become a tropical depression during the next couple of days while it moves westward or west northwest with about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Formation chance for 40 hours high, 80% formation chance for 5 days high, 90%. Shots and thunderstorms are increased near a surface patrol, located about 1400 miles east southeast of the Big Island of Hawaii. Further development of this system is possible during the next few days while it moves westward in the southern Pacific. Formation chest for 40 hours, medium about 30%, and formation chest for 5 days, medium about 50%. And a not area of low pressure is forecast to form several hundred miles south of the coast of Mexico in a few days. Some development of this system is expected over the weekend while it moves generally west northwestward and very much for four hours, low about zero percent, and formation charts for five days, minimum about fifty percent. And number four, another area of low pressure could form during the next couple of days, several hundred miles southwest of the seventh tip of the Baja Catherine Peninsula, as some gradual development of this system is possible this weekend while it moves generally westward. Formation charts for forty hours, low about zero percent, and formation charts for five days, low about twenty percent. Alright, let's Take a look at our. Okay. Severe thunderstorm watch until 10 p.m. from much of Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, and western Massachusetts, including Springfield and the Berkshire's down from northwestern Connecticut, and much of New York from Albany, down from Syracuse, and northeastern Pennsylvania here. And this one band of storms heading east, and more storms developing toward New England, and storms that reduce damage of winds. Hail, brief time pause, and lightning timing after 4 p.m. in Western New England and after 7 p.m. far east. And what to do? Go indoors when storms approach and avoid flooded woods. Similar to that. Let's take a look at our view from the outside here. And it shows a hot and humid day in store for this evening here. And storms on the horizon here. And Thursday, we are going to have a little showers, but Bang! Process continues here. Alright, let's take a look at our hazardous weather outlook before we go on to the seven day forecast here. 
Day one tonight, thunderstorms possibly look every day on pause, resulting in an urban and poor drainage flood and may affect the Boston and Broadway score between 9 p.m. and midnight this evening. Day two of the seven, Thursday, for Tuesday, there will be a moderate risk of a strong and severe thunderstorms as well as flash flooding of Saturday night, Friday, Monday. And seven day forecast, it goes like this. Tonight, chance of showers of thunderstorms and showers like them possibly a thunderstorm after 1 a.m. The thunderstorms produce every rain. Patch of rock after 2 a.m. of ours. Increase the cost without lowering 68 degrees at southward about 10 to 15 miles per coming light southwest after midnight and chance of space is 6 percent. New rain for months between the 7th and quarter and inch checks about miles possible thunderstorms for Thursday. Shower like them possibly a thunderstorm before 9 a.m. then a chance of showers and thunderstorms mainly between 9 p.m. and 5 p.m. and patch of rock for 8 a.m. of wild cloud sky high in the 66 degrees and northwest would about 5 to 8 miles per coming north face in the afternoon and chance of space is 6 percent and New rain for months between the 10th quarter and inch checks about miles possible in thunderstorms for Thursday night. Most of the sky low 59 degrees and chance of light and variable winds. Friday, same sky down near 81 degrees and northward about 5 miles per hour and light and variable. Friday night, most of the sky low 59 degrees, southward about 3 to 6 miles per hour. Saturday, most of the sky down near 82 degrees. Saturday night, chance of showers of thunderstorms between 11 p.m. and midnight. Then a chance of showers of thunderstorms after midnight. Now, now most of the sky with a high near 67 degrees will be the low. Chance of precipitation is 4%. For Sunday, chance of showers and thunderstorms, parts of the sky down near 81 degrees, and chance of precipitation is 50%. Sunday night, chance of showers and thunderstorms, most of the sky are low in 69 degrees, and chance of precipitation is 50%. Monday, showers and thunderstorms, most of the sky are down near 81 degrees, and chance of precipitation is 60%. Monday night, chance of showers and thunderstorms, most of the sky are low in 68 degrees, and chance of precipitation is 40%. Tuesday, chance of showers, parts of the sky are down near 80 degrees, and chance of precipitation is 30%. Tuesday night, chance of showers, most of the sky are low in 62 degrees, and chance of precipitation is 30%. And for Wednesday, most of the sky is high near 80 degrees. Prayers, what are the of the day? Of the evening. A stormy evening in store. Alright. Peter, Channel News Time is now 5.13 here, and it is time now for a little traffic report here. And it shows, let's start it off in Greater Boston here, where Southeast Expressway backed up from the pipe down to the brain tree split. Do it at a concert in Boston here, so try to last some extra time here. Mass pipe slow from Boston Red Patrol to West Newton, and then 127 on slow from the pipe in Western all the way down to 138 in Canton here. And then slow from Randolph to the Rain Tree Split. And Route 3 slow on the Rain Tree Split version here. And Route 95 slow, 128 slow from 2 a Lexington and all the way down through Reading. Due to two accidents, one accident between Burlington and Wilmington. And accident on ramp around Route 93 in Reading here. And 128 on the side slow from Beverly to Peabody here. And 93 North slow from Boston on both sides, and then 93 North slow from Boston all the way down from Medford here, and two slow you approach North Cambridge here. But right, it's gonna be an easy, smooth sailing ahead. Mass Pike, except for a little slow from Weston, you won't be fine from both sides from Framingham to Sturbridge here. Route 3 North slow from Burlington to Bill Burke on the northbound side of Route 3, 93 95 from 120 to the New Hampshire border. 93 North will slow after you pass the New Hampshire border. It will slow around Route 20 in Salem due to some Wyndham, New Hampshire long term road construction. The 93 Northbound Pelham Road exit 2 is part of NHGOT. And 95 will not find both sides from 120 to the New Hampshire border here. 495 will slow from Lawrence all the way down to Chelsea due to an accident on 495 South Street 133 in Tewksbury here. And 495 South will slow from Route 20 in Marlboro to Route 9 in Westbury here. And 95 and 24 more five from 128 to the Brown border. We route 3 more five from Plymouth to, to Weymouth there. 495. And exited on 495 South in the Mansfield Norton line here. 495 slow from Route 140 in Mansfield to Norton. And 495 North slow from 123 in Norton all the way down to Mansfield there. And 24 South will slow from 495 and rain, them to boot 44 and rain and mayor. And so you're good to go on 24. Same time, South will slow you put 195 and Fall River. 195, 195 for both sides from Providence to Wareham, except for usual slow spot in 195 eastbound on 103 in 
Somerset to Brackbridge and Fall River. And 195 westbound, slow for the Fall River stretch here. 95 north of Rhode Island, slow from 37 in Warwick all the way down for downtown Providence. And 95 south, slow from there. Screw from the Pawtucket to 610 in the actor. 610 connector will find, find on both sides here. 295 line, find on both sides. Step a little slow spot around Route 37 in Cranston. And 95 south, a little slow from Warwick all the way down for Coventry. Doing an act on the 95 south in Coventry here. Route 4, Milan 5 from East Greenwich to North Kingstown. 4, South Little Slow around North Kingstown. And 1 3, Milan 5 from North Kingstown down for Newport Air. And Sproot 6 Little Slow from 137 in Bristol down for Route 124 in Harbor. Chair. And Borden Bridge, North, Route 20 North Little Slow, you approach the rotary. And Route 6, Vita Road to the 20 rotary. And Borden, both on Slow on both sides there. Borden and Sangamon Bridges are more on fine air. Peter Channel News Time 517. Time now for the news. In Jerusalem, Israel tried on Wednesday to get U.S. and European commercial flights to Tel Aviv. So after some curse suspended service and assisted its main airport door was safe despite being talked about passing rockets. The FAA and airlines around the world again suspend flights in Tel Aviv as intense shelling continues between Israelis and Palestinians. That's from WBL in Baltimore here. Yeah? The death toll for the Trans Asia Airlines turbo plane crash stands at 47 according to the latest. Figures 11 were injured and when it crashed, landed in the route from Taiwan to the island of Macon. The first of the bodies of the people who died in the Malaysian Airlines MH17 tragedy have been returned to the Netherlands under by a moment of silence from Dutch soldiers, dignitaries, and grieving family members. San Francisco fueled by strong demand from mobile advertising and fast is officially on fire. The giant social media scorch analysts has made that Wednesday for the ninth straight quarter. Indianapolis and Indiana teenager was killed when its plane crashed in the Pacific Ocean Wall. Our 10 minutes at the world occurred for a round the world flight as famous postman said Wednesday. Jamal Charles standoff with Kansas City didn't last that long as the sides agreed to terms on a new contract Wednesday and it called ahead to the training camp of the West of the Chiefs better as a person with non negotiations told. The growing number of remarkable basket protests of fired employees with empty shelves are starting to make their impact felt in 2014. I like this to cycle and brother as Somerville Mayor Joseph Curry reflects in his cake filled job. It marked the basket there. And this is a photo that I found in the Boston Herald here. An empty storefront in the market basket flagship store in Chelsea. Oh my! Where have all the meats gone? Wow! That is an empty meat counter at Market Basket there. Top police officials and activists from Boston and area communities west of the state senate on Tuesday for watering it on the gun control legislation by stupid provision aimed at keeping rifles and shotguns out of the hands of dangerous people. In Jerusalem, Secretary of State John F. Kerry claimed some progress Wednesday toward health in the Israeli Palestinian bloodshed in Gaza. Now it's the third week as Israel had a funeral for one of the two Americans killed fighting for the Jewish state there. This is a photo in the Herald yesterday of a lot of demonstrators on both sides rally at Copter Square yesterday as it's found in the Boston Herald yesterday. In Kaduna, Nigeria, an explosion on a busy commercial road in the North Nigerian city of Kaduna killed several people on Wednesday, witnesses said. In San Francisco, President Barack Obama said a team to Texas to assess whether a U.S. National Guard deployment would help to handle an immigration crisis at the Mexican border. White House officials told Reuters on Wednesday. In New York, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo's office met with a commission he created with a corruption state politics pushing back whenever it would focus on groups tied to Cuomo, the New York Times reported on Wednesday. In business news, the SP 5 closed the record high Wednesday as stocks were mostly higher on positive earnings reports. With about 30% of the companies in the standard poor 500 index reporting, 68% have top estimates. And China detains five in food safety investigation here. In New York, the U.S. Department of Transportation on Wednesday proposed a new safety rules for hauling crude oil by rail after a string of explosive acts to the move. If you're feeling adventurous and can act faster, you can now sign up for the access to Apple Max OS X Yosemite Beta. The beta program, which lets users test its latest Mac operating system software that Apple announced in June, is open to the first million. Beyond the Wheel and Cadillac CTS as GM recalls another 717,950 vehicles, but not for ignition issues here. Where have all the iPad bars gone as a consumer electric giant sold 35.2 million iPhones in a quarter and up nearly 30% on the year, while sales of iPads fell 9% to 13.3 million units. 
Marcus has cracked open its annual and Q4 results the first end of the year and results on a brief release challenge chief as Secretary Stati and Nadella. Los Angeles may be in long reign in a shame, but New York's getting a grip on the nation's talk shows. As Stephen Colbert's late show will stay in New York after he takes over from Dave Leverman. Who's returning next year? Spider Man spin off Sinners for Six after 2016 sequel pushed to 2018. Lana Del Rey is in afraid of woman or sex in this. Oh, we're skipping that. <laughs> the actress who nearly quit the business after a bad experience on a Pinter Caribbean movie reveals what it's like to go to where no woman of color less has gotten before she had launched two franchises and potential third. He in sports, Toronto FC acquired versatile midfielder Warren Gravel from Houston on Wednesday as a dynamo position themselves at the sign U.S. The inning would call right the first day of training camp for the Denver Broncos began with tears as John Elway broke down and needed the pause to compose himself several times Wednesday as he reflected the revelation that Broncos owner Pat Bone has Alzheimer's disease. Sydney Rats won't be back with Seattle Seahawks after all. It's in March when the team resigned by the reigning Super Bowl champions as Rats announced that the team Wednesday is returning on a needed training camp. Oregon running back Devon Adams also no NCAA's 1-10 meter championship in the men's. And it's not the NFL's fault that Dan Snyder, as the Washington team continues to use and defend that blatantly racist nickname. That's also not the NFL's fault that a former head coach and current TV talk landed. Turning judges said he wouldn't have drafted an NFL's first openly gay player. The greater mass here at Bat used Polar as light patterns at the center of the Calvary and Turtle Cup says researchers. This helps trouble them. Long this is at night. Do dogs experience jealousy? The reactions of the border calls expected to be impeded and being ignored and inspired by new research and the new question mark. In Melbourne, an AIDS free generation is within reach of early treatment and is provided by people infected with HIV and help scale up for women and children, former U.S. President Bill Clinton said. Some areas of season plans plant just neck greens and puts, but a lot of people might miss out on flesh and stone food that's on its put back in company issues nationwide recall for popular summer foods. Thank the Red Sox will be at Toronto taking on the Toronto Blue Jays, Clay Buckles on the mind for the Red Sox, or you taking my mind for the Blue Jays. All right, afternoon baseball scores in Seattle. It's the New York Mets leading the Seattle Mariners 1-0 in the top of the fifth. Detroit Tigers lead the Arizona Diamondbacks by a touchdown 7-0 in the air. Kyra Rockies leading the Washington Nationals 3-2. Kansas City Royals leading the Chicago White Sox about a night 2-1. And Minnesota over Cleveland 3-1. And Milwaukee over Cincinnati 5-1 there. All right. Peter Channel News on 5.23, and it's time to have a stop report here. Breaking news, 10.3 million adults got insurance in Obamacare launch. Government Dow Jones, 1706.63, down 26.91. SB 519.87.01, up 3.48. NASDAQ 4473.70, up 17.68. And in European markets, it's stacks 9753.56, up 19.23, up 20%. FTSC 6798.15, up 281. CAC 440, 4376.32, up 6.80. In Asia, Nikkei 1520.36, down 14.72. Shanghai 2070.49, up 3.01. And HSI 2971.87, up 29.76. In the oil markets, there. Oil 103.27 up 0.88. Brent 1 and a quarter up 0.92. And natural gas 3.765 down 0.007. In gold markets here. Gold 13.04.70 down 1.60. Silver 20.955 down 0.053. And copper 3.2055 down 0.0025. In the bonds here. US 10 year yield 2.4691% up 0.003. Germany 10 year yield 1.145 down 0.004. Japan 10 year yield 0.536% unchanged. In the FX here, European US dollar 1.346 down 0.0004 down 0.03. US dollar Germany 101.53 up 0.06 and Greater Britain US dollar 1.704 down 0.0004 and Japan 1737 down 0.0005. And that's me for Weather Magician and Peter Channel News even report on this July 23rd, 2014 on a Wednesday. Peter Williams will be up a good evening with a good positive and I'll be back at 11 o'clock with a late night report right after the sports roundup. Stay tuned.